sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mesco Toys 112 Collective Thor Ragnarok Gladiator Hulk. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So we do get the basic style box when it comes to the Mesco 112 line. This box is a little bit bigger compared to what we're usually getting, but that is because Hulk is a bit of a larger figure. So on the front of the slipcover here, on the top does say Hulk, on the center says Marvel Thor Ragnarok, on the bottom says 112 Collective, post play display, but in this Hulk's case, it should say 112 Collective display and then it also does say marvel and then the bottom of the actual box here we do get the warning and blah 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 stuff nobody cares about then here is the top of the box is 112 collective display and then here is the side of the slip cover pretty much the same thing as the front of the box and the other side here same thing as the one side then the back of it to show a bunch of the promo images along with all the accessories included with this figure so then you can remove the slip cover here and under that, it does display the window with the figure and the accessories. And then the sides of the box here says 112 Collective. Then the back, we do get the very large Mesco Toys logo. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure open and see if it's as disappointing as all the pictures that we've been seeing online of it. Alrighty, take it a closer detailed look. And for the sculpt, Mesco, I think, did an excellent job with that aspect to the figure. The paint is pretty good, too. It's just my main issue with... The paint here, or not really the paint, but the green that they chose for his skin tone is... You got a couple different tones of green on the Hulk here, and it just it looks so stupid. So we do have this very vibrant green for the torso and the legs and the arms. But then you look at the face, his hands, and his feet, and they're a totally different green. They're like a, a pale green, and it just looks so bad and dumb. On this figure, it really, for me, this kind of ruins the figure for me with the different tones of green not matching up it's like he went tanning but covered his face hands and feet it doesn't make sense i don't know who the hell thought that was fine for the final product to have the different tones of green here it, it just looks so bad man and it it might ruin the figure for other people as well that is a big issue with this figure here i think the sculpt though is fantastic on this hulk the face sculpts look just like him in thor ragnarok i do love the cloth clothing that they used for i'm just going to call it the sash piece here and the belt and everything i think that looks really cool the sculpt on the torso and the arms and the legs and everything look great something people are complaining about is this paint here it should be white but they made it silver it is on this face as well it's on both faces actually but I, I could look past that it doesn't bother me as much as other people but th that is something that some people aren't too happy about the helmet I think looks great though the helmet they killed beautiful detail all throughout that the paint looks great on it I like how it's all battle damage and everything you could tell he's been in a lot of gladiator bottles and the horsehair looking piece on the top looks pretty cool too the torso here i love all these straps i think that looks great you get a very nice like wash or shading all throughout it does have battle damage to it as well which looks really cool we get the blue plate of armor around the shoulder right there i love that blue paint that they chose for the shoulder armor it's a it's a very nice like shiny tight blue and then there's the uh, strap on the back right there which looks dope I mean, he does have a nice texture to his skin as well, which is pretty cool. And then the right arm just has some more of that paint on it. It has a, a wrapping around it, which is a separate piece. You can remove it. It does get annoying when you swap the hands because sometimes it starts to come off, which is a bit irritating, but this piece looks pretty cool too. And then the other armor on the left arm looks great. You get some battle damage on it. It just looks like worn armor. It looks really, really cool. Same with the strap going around it. And it is a softer, rubbery type plastic. They are separate pieces, and they can be removed. Another annoying thing when you articulate the fig figure, these like to fall down and move all around. You have to keep repositioning it, and it does get very annoying. But I, I do like the way the armor looks. And that blue piece is an actual piece of cloth, which I thought was pretty cool and like I said I do like the cloth that they used for this piece here the belt and everything looks great very nice sculpt and paint on it we do get a wash all throughout it does have battle damage to it and you can tell this is cloth he has his boxer shorts on which are cloth as well there's the back we get the blue piece that looks pretty cool it looks like a, a leather type material the blue piece I like the way these pieces look too I mean they did they did a good job with the cloth clothing which is 
what Mezco is definitely good at. And then the lower legs here, we do get these pieces, which are also separate pieces, but they don't move around like the pieces on the arms. And they do look really nice, very nice sculpt and paint all throughout them. And then the feet here, the sandals, I think, turned out dope. It looks just as cool as these pieces here. As you can see there, the back has like a leathery type look. You can see the stitching sculpted on there and everything. And then the bottom of them, not much going on but some peg holes. But overall, the sculpt, I think, was executed real well. The paint even turned out really nice. It's just the different tones of green that really brings this figure down a lot. And, and that is so damn disappointing with this Gladiator Hulk. A lot of people had really high expectations for this figure. And Mezco let a lot of collectors down, big time. But anyway, let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, we get a good amount of stuff included with this Gladiator Hulk. And it's pretty much the basic stuff that we have been getting with other Gladiator Hulk figures. So first and foremost, we do get a Mezco bag, of course, in case you're somebody who likes to store your accessories in here. So we do get that, and we do get the Mezco Stand so we do have the base here, which is all black and it just says Marvel Thor Ragnarok on it And then we do get the peg in case you are someone who likes to peg your figures on the base And then we do have the arm and clamp in case you want to make the stand For your figure so we do get that and then we do get two interchangeable heads Faces and starting on the left we do get the yelling screaming helmeted face Which is the one that does come on the figure out of the packaging and we already did take a look at that one And like I said before the faces do look exactly like Hulk how he looked in Thor Ragnarok so we do get that one and then we do get the unhelmeted angry teeth gritted face and that one is spot on Ruffalo Hulk you can see the paint on the side of the faces on the right side there the teeth they painted yellow which I, I feel like suits Hulk a little bit more I mean the sculpt and paint look fantastic on these head sculpts it's just the green is so off compared to the rest of the body but it is very simple to swap the heads I'll show you how to do it right now quickly and swapping the heads is basic when it comes to the 112 line the heads are just connected to a ball peg but they are on there really tight so you just unpeg it to take it off then take the unhelmeted one and just push down to get it on there you go as simple as that so we do get the two interchangeable heads and then we also get his hammer and axe and these turned out really nice probably the best accessories with this hulk here the handle looks great we do get a nice like rust look to it and i believe there's like a dry brushing throughout it as well and it has some uh, battle damage on it like some swords have been hitting up against it same with on these pieces as well very cool looking uh, hammer here so we do get that and then we do get my favorite which is the battle axe and this one looks a little more rusted it does have that dry brushing as well and it does have the battle damage also like swords have been clinging and clanging against it and the other end is very sharp so be extremely careful with it so we do get the weapons and he does grip onto them perfectly fine so we do get those and then we finally get six alternate hands. And starting on the right here, we do get a pair of fists, of course, which do come on the figure out of the packaging. And all the hands are very simple to swap out. Then we do get a pair of gripping hands. And then finally, we get some open type finger clenching hands. And we get some beautiful sculpt and paint detail throughout all six of them. But anyway, that is all the accessories included with this Hulk. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review, shall we? Now, for the height of one of Mezco's worst figures, to the very top of his hair, it looks like he's just shy of 8 inches tall. And this is another issue a lot of people do have with this figure, is that he is too short. Personally, I, I don't think it's too bad. They could have made him a little bit bigger, but I, I don't think it's as bad as some people are making it out to be. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Thanos, the Infinity War Hulk. Nappa and the Marvel Legends Evolution of Groot and as you can see he is a bit shorter compared to the SH Figure Arts Hulk and I feel like he should have been more around this height here. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Infinity War Captain America, the Mezco 112 Popeye, the classic suit Iron Man and Old Man Logan. And then here he is compared to the Storm Collectible Smoke, the SH Figure Arts Sage Mode Naruto, the Mefex Tactical Suit Batman, and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. 
So now for the articulation, and this is definitely the biggest issue with this figure. This is what makes me hate this figure, and Mezco should be ashamed that they put such bad articulation on this figure like this. This is just so pathetically ridiculous how bad the articulation is. It's pretty much just a statue, so you are aware. I mean, you can put him in some minor poses, but, I mean, the fun factor for this is below the lowest level. It's not fun at all, man. The, the, the articulation is straight up trash on this Hulk. The head articulation here is on a ball peg, and you can't get any type of articulation really out of it, especially with the helmet on. That's the best forward and back movement or up and down movement you're going to get. You really don't get pivot, and then you can get it to swivel almost all the way, but the helmet does hinder it. And Tamashi Nations put the back of the helmet on a hinge, so you can articulate the Hulk's head up a little bit more, because they did that. Mesco didn't do it, and, and it does suffer from it. You can't get him to look up at all, and he, he barely looks down. So horrible, horrible head articulation. Even if I take the helmet head sculpt off and put on the unhelmeted one, you get a little more movement out of it but not too much as you can see right there better pivot out of it as you can see and it does swivel so you do get better head articulation with the unhelmeted head sculpt but really not too much more articulation out of it very bad head movement now there is no torso articulation at all which is another big thing people are very upset about i know their aquaman they sacrificed that point of articulation it was on the figure but they put his armor over it, which was a full piece so you couldn't use the articulation the hulk they just straight up sk skipped out on it and it, it, it suffers from it man all we get is a point of articulation at the waist here which really is not good at all i mean it's not too bad the forward movement is garbage man the back movement it's okay, it's not too bad, but the forward movement's just horrible, man, and pretty much non-existent pivot, but you do get the swivel out of it. Now, for the arms here, you don't get any type of, like, shoulder motion, like, circular motion out of it, but the arms do go out to the sides. The right one goes out about that much. The left one, I mean, if you force it, this can keep moving up, but... I mean, it will get in the way with certain ways you move the left arm, so it's gonna get in the way one way or another but the arms do go out to the sides about 90 degrees which really isn't too bad they do go up and down as you can see that is going to hinder the up movement and as you can see when you move the articulation these pieces keep flopping around and moving up and down which gets really irritating then we just get these single jointed elbows and they don't even bend in 90 degrees which is really bad that's just, that's not good elbow movement at all then you do get a swivel there another thing is the elbow joints blend in better with the feet hands and the face and i feel like the color they were supposed to make this hulk was this color here like their hand his hands face and feet that's why the joints match that green more than the green that is on the rest of the figure then for the wrists here we do get a giant ball hinge so it does swivel and hinges back and forth wrist movement is perfectly fine now for the legs here hulk really can't kick forward at all i, I think it barely gets 45 degrees which isn't that good and doesn't go back at all but kicking out to the side he can almost jean claude van damme it which is pretty damn good and then we do get the upper thigh swivel the knees here don't even bend back 90 degrees which is horrible so bad knee movement and then for the ankles another point of articulation that is horrendous on this figure it does swivel hinges up just a tiny bit really doesn't hinge down much and that pivot is straight up trash man that is horrible ankle pivot mezco what the hell were you thinking with the articulation on this hulk he has such bad movement and and it's it's not a fun figure at all it's it's a statue pretty much it's pretty much a statue so if you're getting this figure or you want to get this figure just know he's really just meant for displaying purposes there's no pose play and display it's just display and you really can't get him into too many poses which is extremely disappointing i'm going to show you some of those limited poses right about now
But anyway, that is my review of the Mesco 112 Collective Gladiator Hulk. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure between a 1 through 10, I'd have to give it a 4.5. If you would like to know the price more to buy this figure, I did get mine from Ageless Geeks, but I definitely would highly recommend going with the SH Figure Arts Gladiator Hulk or even the Marvel Select Gladiator Hulk. But if you do still decide that you want to get this, you can go to agelessgeeks.com or I would recommend going through their Instagram or Facebook page. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. larger since Hulk is a little bit bigger though since Hulk is a larger figure so on the front of the building on the and says Marvel Thor Ragnarok on the bottom here for this figure it should say month uh, and then the bottom of the actual box here we do get the warning blah 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 stuff nobody cares about that whoa you son of a beep the classic armor Iron Man and the old <laughs> The SH Figure Arts Infinity War Captain America, the Mesco 112, bleh, 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 almost called him Iron Man. And it's pretty much the basics that we've been... Bleh, 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 bleh. We do have the peg in case you want to peg the figure on hand. God damn ye! So pull up to take it off. <laughs> Whoops, that was on there pretty damn good, wasn't it?